I want to show you how to make a tassel. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is get something and wrap the yarn around it. I have these old cardboard looms in the back of the class. And so I wrap the yarn around many times. I lost count. But your tassel can be as full or as thin as you want it to be. Once you have the tassel the size you want, you can cut off any extra yarn. And now is the time when you can take a new piece of short yarn and put it through all of those loops you just made. And then we want to tie a knot so that we can cinch together one end of those loops. And I cross my yarn over, put one through and do a double knot. So now we have to get this thing off of the loom. And at first I tried hacking at it with scissors and that was not very effective. So instead I stopped and I started to scoot this newly formed tassel off of the loom. And then once I got it off, I could use the scissors to pull the end and snip through. So now I've got all these nice fringes. It looks like a mustache. I get one more piece of short yarn, not too short, and I use it to lay behind the two mustache pieces. And then guess what? I'm going to tie another double knot. So behind the top of the tassel, I now make a knot and cinch it so that there's a little ball on top. And then I tie a second knot to make it nice and secure with a double knot. This is ready to be tied onto your loom as if you want to, you can trim the bottom fringe of your tassel to make it even. And it might be a good idea if you have some long pieces. Here's another thing you might do today. You might braid. Whenever we're tying our yarns together during weaving or to make this braid, we make a loop. Either two or three friends all together make a loop. And then push the ends up through that loop and pull both sides to make a secure knot and really hold those together. With this braid, I wanted to tape it down to the table temporarily so that I could focus on braiding the yarn starting at the left and putting that over the center. Then I, on the right, I put that over the center. And you basically go left over the middle and right over the middle, back and forth. Left over the middle and then right over the middle. And while I'm doing this, I make sure the ends are staying separated and I'm paying some attention to how the braid is forming up top. As you become experienced with braiding, you can do tight braiding or loose braiding, but this might be your first time braiding. So I wanted to show you just what happens if you're pulling the ends left and right over the middle. There is all kinds of different braiding, some braiding where you braid under the middle, but for this first braid you might be doing, you're alternating left and right going over the middle string. For you to see really easily, I used three different colors, but you can use all the same color, whatever you would like to do. If you lose track in the middle of braiding, you can always look at the top and take a close look, but also this might not be a perfect braid and that's okay. So I'm braiding for about eight inches here and then it comes time to make another knot. And I do it the same way. I make a big loop and then I bring the ends through the back of that loop and pull tight. Now I can attach this little hanger to my loom. I'm gonna tie a knot around two different strings on my loom. so that it can be hung on a tack or a nail or one of the clothes pins outside in our hallway.
And this is a good part of the project where you can trim any loose ends that you don't want to be showing. And there you go, a little hanger for your loom.